11 o'clock in the morning, dated May 21, 2022, a group of vendors called an intelligence and reported that a fish to brought by the fisherman has a damage in its physical appearance as well as its internal parts. They are suspected that the fish was caught by a dynamite fishing, that is why they reported to the civilian intelligence whom they knew. Here is the video clip showing about the whole scenario before the incident has been reported. Gagamit sila o kuan ba fishing bomb sa pagkuha. Oo. Oh, oh. Ako na po'y bantay dagat rin po dito. Ato ang report na po para makuan. Kilado juga yung nakuha ra ni Sus Dynamite Fishing. Nasa kitawagan, kailan na po ang kabalong makuan. Hello, hello sir. Mayong mood to. Kanang na ami isda nga napalit. Nya, kaning isda, mailado ra dito siya nga kuan. Ang ginamit ani kay dynamite, dynamite fishing. Namo ibidin siya or sample diha. Kaya ato ra po nang i-report sa Bantay Dagat. Sir, yes sir, na sir. Salamat kayo. Thank you. Kana sir, nagbuhat na po sila og dynamite, dynamite fishing. Upon receiving the report, the barangay captain and the two arresting officers searched the area and caught the actual activity together with the Martin police to verify the said history. Thank you. 
To arrest the suspected persons, the arresting officers observed the arresting techniques, so called the kneeling techniques. But in this case, the suspects are just standing with handcuffs at the back, and to observe the right of the suspects, they give any Miranda rights. Kaya na aristo sa salang paglapag sa ating batas, na ito na pagamit ng ito ng bawal na uday na may fishing. Kayo ay may karapatan, panahimik kung sa walang tipo. Kung ano man ang inyong sasabihin din, ito ay gagamitin laban o pabor sa inyo. Kayo ay may karapatan kumuha ng sarili niyong abogado. Kung wala kayong kakayahan na gobyerno ay magbibigay sa inyo. Naimpintahan niyo ba ang inyong mga karapatan? Sir! Then the suspects transferred to the nearest hospital for the medical examinations as proof that they are in good physical conditions after the arresting activity. Suspects. The duty investigator record all the evidences in the area where all the evidence transpired. The suspect also was signed a logbook that served as a record by the said incident. Signing of affidavit of witness by the witnesses and arresting officers to assign affidavit of arrest. Upon completing the necessary documents for filing a case against the suspects, the duty investigator properly turned over the evidence to the B-5 personnel for the future preferences. The duty investigator instructed the B-5 personnel to sign the receiving copy stated that all the evidences confiscated in the illegal fishing activity was properly turned over to their office. Before the suspects bring to the fiscal, the duty investigator instructed the suspects to affirm a signature in the logbook stated there that before they were transferred to the fiscal, that they are in good medical condition attached to its folders, the medical record of the suspects, and the suspects immediately transferred to the fiscal office, increased proceedings prior to observation of the preliminary premium of the civil case. Republic Act No. 10654, an act to prevent, deter, and eliminate illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing, amending Republic Act No. 8550, otherwise known as the Philippine Fisheries Code of 1998, and for other purposes. 
Legal fishermen are organized criminals and links to a major human rights violations who exploit the locals and gaps in a massive infrastructures of the management systems. One of the fundamental duty as law enforcement officers, Philippine National Police, is to safeguard lives and property. Stopping them requires a broad, long-term, persistent, and involving effort that PNP ensures the safety and preservation of the natural resources by doing its best in enforcing the necessary law and regards with illegal fishing.